Looks like TGF will have first pick and the first ban. First ban will be Skarner. Um, Skarner's been actually pretty solid. Uh, I've seen him in quite a few games today, uh, either as a ban or as a pick. Uh, he went in the one game we saw him go top solo. He actually kind of got out farmed and almost uh, by Yumashi. Uh, Yumashi's been playing top solo this entire tournament and has absolutely just been just saving that last pick uh, as a counter pick. I'm really excited to see um, this match just because uh, Yumashi has been playing Lanewick. He's been playing. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was his. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm just excited. And I'm probably a little tired. So. First band, Skarner. Second band, Ramus. Third band, Trendemir. Fourth band, Graves. Uh, the Warwick. Well, actually, that, that Warwick band is actually targeted at Yumashi. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if anybody was watching the last game, but he actually... <laughs> uh, it's kind of awesome to see the Warwick ban um, at this this level of play. And then uh, we see a Ribbon ban that could be targeted to a specific jungler on TGF. Um, as we actually saw I Hate Firewall's jungle Ribbon last game fairly effectively. Now... We have seen a lot of uh, supports first pick, um, just so in Udir, of course. Typically, go. Um, we'll probably see um, <laughs> probably a Zara the Soraka or Janna, um, ranged eighty here. Um, Eric Hahn actually plays support. In one of the earlier tournament games, he filled in as AP mid when Hank, who's actually playing on Boxy Brown, so shout out to Hank and Boxy, uh, <laughs> shout out to Hank, uh, was unable, was oversleeping or something, so he was actually unable to play in that game, and um, Eric Hahn played Mazahar mid. How about shout outs to Wenatchee? <laughs> so there's actually a Sona pick. And Corky. Otter actually has played Corky in the last two games. Uh, pretty effective. Good form. Uh, typically not out of position. He's been playing pretty smart. And there's actually a Janna pick, which has been consistent within the last couple games for Eric Khan. Caitlyn pick. Exciting. Uh, with Graves off the table, we're going to go for that range. Might be interesting to see if this isn't just if they'll swap to Vayne or if they're actually going to stick with Caitlyn. Looks like they are going to run Caitlyn Sona. It's quite a scary comp. For bot lane. It looks like we'll probably see jungle. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, Yumashi played a solid trundle uh, one game uh, up against a gangplank top. So, that was exciting. To watch, so I'm, I'm curious to see what he's if he's not going to play work, if he's going to go back to Trondo, if he's just going to save a counter pick uh, for whatever their top solo ends up being. We will see. And it looks like um, I'm going to go ahead and call. No, Jungle Cow. No, we haven't seen Jungle Cow in, in months. Yes, please. Please, 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 please. So last pick switch? No, we are going to see a Jungle Cow. Exciting. Um, now, normally when Hank 
who's on, who's playing Brand this game is playing uh, support. We actually get to see an aggressive uh, Alistar from his point of view. So this way, we're actually going to see a jungle Alistar, which means we're going to see a lot of ganks. Jungle cow. I wonder if they're going to um, invade on red. That's probably what I would do. Uh, last pick for TGF. We're going to see Morgana. Fairly common. And a Renekton. Ooh. Renekton actually... I don't know how safe that pick is, honestly. It's it's an interesting uh, pick, to be sure. Maybe it could just be that they have a solid Renekton player. Uh, he's pretty safe. Maybe he's safe with it. I feel he does have the you know he has some mobility. The escape mechanism between slice and dice, um, heavy harass can follow up pretty st with a with a with a, a stun, easy to land stun. And are we gonna see a Shavana pick? I have not seen Shavana played since her release. Um, I hear she's really dominant in Dominion. I would love to see this actually get locked in. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> nope. Shaking it off. Didn't like the first sign. Actually going to switch into uh, possibly Trundle pick. And I do like it. The Trundle does get locked in. We're going to see TGF Swift on Morgana. Freddy... Is going to play Renekton. TGF Pinku is going to play Udir. Uh, nah, that's probably not right. They're probably going to swap again. Before that, um, let's see a Jungle Sona. Uh, that would be exciting. But yeah, by the way, my name's Hywin. I will be casting sort of and or eating some ramen uh, <laughs> for the finals game with the go for lol tournament we are uh, raise your weapon you can go to our website raiseyourweapon.com you can also follow us on facebook twitter our twitch tv stream whatever you can do um, shout outs to uh, the UW PCM group who uh, has been running a lot of uh, their own tournament stuff and also been participating at, at the, the 3v3 local tournaments at the Microsoft Store in down, downtown Seattle, the U Village. They've uh, been actually helping the scene grow quite a bit. We actually are looking into running more tournaments at the local land centers here and promoting the Pacific Northwest tournament scene. We just want to grow um, kind of grow our scene a bit. Get uh, the str We have a, quite a bit of talent here in the Pacific Northwest. High risk, no reward. Majority of their team is located here at the Pacific Northwest. They came out to um, a show match tournament that we casted yesterday uh, down in Auburn uh, at Game Breakers Land Center. So it's, you know, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, sadly, I don't have my co-caster here, but Callan uh, Pado Paddock uh, will help me recast a few of these games. Um... The ones where I had some technical difficulty. And maybe even this game. So right now, those of you who are getting a chance to uh, watch live, watch my mistakes, make fun of me, send me some feedback. Hopefully we'll have a nice smooth stream this time. <laughs> and by the way, uh, a lot of the people in chat are uh, <laughs> fans of Hank, <laughs> so feel free to uh, <laughs> feel free to troll Hank as you see fit. I'll probably see him uh, later this week, and so uh, I'll be make sure to pass the trolling along. <laughs> Thanks, Tally. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shoutouts to Tally Mark. I'm going to embarrass her right now by saying that she has a crush on Dan Dan. And I'm going to follow up, up and say, who doesn't? I have a crush on Dan Dan as well. So, 
Take that, Tally. <laughs> Say hello to the 27, well, I guess if you're one of them, 20, and I'm one of them, the 25 other viewers out there. The game will start here in 30 seconds. Also, in chat, we do have a celebrity. Four Court Jester is in the building. Actually, Four Court, if you get a chance to reach out to Silver Dirge, I don't know if you've worked with her in the past, but I think you two would make a great co-cast. Um, I will get you her info, or if you if you don't know, or I can give her your info. She's actually here in the Pacific Northwest. She actually does, I think she does a lot of the, some big tournaments uh, that can, um, Collegiate Star League and some other stuff. So both teams have shop. They're moving out. Um, some important things to note. Uh, Janna does not have clairvoyance. So we're going to have to see a lot of aggressive ward play and or counter warding since they won't be able to use clairvoyance. TGF is moving in. And we'll be invading the red side. Looks like what may happen is if top solo Yumashi is not careful and thirty seconds until minion spawn takes a wrong trip <laughs> through the forest. All right, looks like they're backing, and oh no, it's exactly what happened. Oh, if he'd have been about five seconds slower, they would have blue pilled. That is unfortunate. Hank is able to prevent them all from blue pilling. Um, <laughs> so he actually. <laughs> Sorry, Mashi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing about that. Um, oh well, lesson learned. You have to just uh, make it up here in the back end in the lane. It will be Jungle Renekton. Okay, so that's interesting as well. I'm sure everybody can jungle now in the new jungle. I just don't know how awesome Jungle Renekton is. So we also get to witness this. I'm pretty sure the lane dervers trundle is going to be a fairly even match. Both of these have pretty high sustain. Um, we could see a level 2 Renekton gank. Here comes Yumashi. He's actually going to flash, and that was actually Koala coming in. Doesn't do quite a bit, just a little bit of a scare. Meanwhile, firewalls on Jungle Cow. Starting with the armor of five pots. Does have blue buff. He's going to make his way towards red. 
We've got Brand versus Morgana in mid. If we take a look here at the bot lane, we've got Corky and Janna versus Caitlyn and Sona. It's actually the first time I've seen Caitlyn in this in the tournament picks today. Even with the graves, a lot of graves and vein bands. Now coming into this match, I was told uh, by members of different teams that have participated in the, in the Go For Law tournament that TGF is, you know, the most fearsome or second, you know, second most fearsome team out there. So I was definitely excited to see this match. I know players are probably tired at this point. This is round six or seven, something or other. <laughs> um, it's a lot of mat. It's a lot of games to play because I, I know a lot of these guys were playing a couple games before the tournament. Oh, we do have a gank on top. Here comes Alistar. We're gonna see a wall. Nice wall. Fla forces the Udu to flash. Good gank attempt. Made an appearance in lane and picked off a summoner. Wow. Just gonna just push him around a little bit. Zone him out while we have a little bit of farming going on. Meanwhile, in bot lane, just kind of a little sustain fest. Um, you've got the heal from Sona and the range on Caitlyn, making the uh, lives miserable for Janna and Corky. Corky with 27 creep stats and Caitlyn, Caitlyn with 29, so it's, it's pretty even. The Renekton jungle, uh, he has hit four. He's actually gone with boots and a cloth armor. Uh, not sure what they're planning here. Um, blue side does have a ward. They are aware of Alistar. He's actually going to engage and just one out. Fine, will land. But, I mean, right now this is all just kind of meaningless damage. I don't think they actually have the potential to kill Alistar at this point, even without his ult. He just has a lot of base health. 100 health uh, with just boots at level 4? It's pretty good. Looks like most of the lanes are just getting their farm on. Some pinging going down. Blue team is aware of Alistar coming in on by lane. It might not matter. He does have a flash. He gets the stun off on Sona. That's not going to work. Corky actually caught out of position. He's going to get stunned by Renekton. And Morgana has come down. She does have her ult. Both of these are going to get caught, and they're both going to go down. Morgana picks up the double kill. Not looking good. Uh, Hank playing really aggressive, flashes over the wall, unloads his full combo, and actually takes out their support. Hank, last game, had a really bad start, but turned it around by just picking on the support champ of Soraka, of Gosu Soraka, so... I don't know if he's going to try and make this a habit, or maybe just feels that maybe there's a weaker player, um, or he was just trying to get what he could out of that. Either way, it was a good play, he came away with a kill. If we look at Trundle stats, Trundle and Uder, both at 44 creep stats. <laughs> Neither one of them um, making a uh, headway, you know, major headway over one another. This blue should go to Morgana. Um, would almost even consider it Udyr in some respect if he was falling behind, but I think Udyr is doing fine, so this will probably go to Morgana. She's just way more dangerous. She can fling more spells. I mean, it's very typical and standard. Not very unorthodox. Bran should be requesting his friendly blue buff as well.
looks like I start kind of falling behind. Um, not horribly. Does have a GP GP per ten item, but it looks like they know that Brand will be going to pick up that blue soon, so they could. Uh, uh -oh. Looks like Morgana is coming up top. They do not have vision of Morgana. They all they have is a MIA call, and it sounds like it's enough. Brand does want to be careful here. Looks like he will get blue started and he'll probably ping for Brand to come over here soon. He's now moving over. Blue buff is low. He's got to be careful that Alistar's passive doesn't take it. Alright, he's good. He's safe. Morgana did get a chance to see Alistar, but right now I think they're just going to ping that he's moving down bot lane. Chono back in lane after shopping does have two GP per 10 items. Um, it's interesting. This He went with the this build earlier when he was playing against GP. Uh, Gangplank. And eventually I believe he turned it into... Um, just went real tanky. Almost, I think he went like a Warmog's Atma. After he went with the two uh, GP per 10 items. He's going to put the ult on Udyr. Just to get that health region. Not much they, these two can do to one another. We do have some aggressive play on bot lane. Alistar Zen is going to come down. They do have wards. They do see this. They're going to move towards the trap. Renekton is down here. Renekton is going to jump in. Now, absolutely murder Janna. I don't know if that was a positioning, but she just got hit with everything. And with Renekton's ult and Caitlyn and with the poke, they should be getting this dragon fairly safe. Oh no, what happened? Hank eats a bind and absolutely and just gives away his blue buff. I'm not sure what was going on there. Uh, I don't know if he flinched. Or he was just, just had bad eyesight, but not good. If it's me, I'm blaming the lag, or fatigue, or hangover. High risk, no reward. Off to not the best of starts. They're down five kills, they're down dragon. Best way to turn this around, they know it, they're gonna have to play safe until the next dragon um, comes up. They're gonna wanna try and get map control. And it looks like Udyr was able to pressure Chundo enough where he could actually get a um, a tiger claw ignite, and it was enough. Wow, they actually do have a ward there. They did know he was there. The alt does not bounce enough. It looks like Sona will get picked up. Brand flashes is gonna get killed by Renekton or Kaylin. Morgana does have her ult and doesn't even need to use it. Actually, she will have her ult in about 10 seconds. Otherwise, that would have been a triple kill. Nice stun on Janna. Janna will escape just barely.
Two for one, not really working out in their favor. What? Not sure what happened there. Uh, they actually just kind of walked under the turret and shot the cow. They're going to pick up this uh, first turret. Looks like they're going to play a, a, a backup cause called it, but Hank eats another bind. He's got to be careful here. This Morgana is playing really well. And when I say this Morgana, I mean TGF Swift. Hank with with an Oracle, an early Oracle. Interesting. It just could be that he's noticed that there's been a lot of uh, wards that have proven to be detrimental to their health so at this point he's gonna go ward hunt maybe it'll pay for itself he will get that blue buff and what we really need to see is like Corky or someone to kind of break out. Right now they're they're down eight kills. They're down quite a bit of farm. Uh, they're down about six k gold, which is you know at 15 minutes is, is quite a bit. Um, from from previous matches, it was completely reverse. Usually they were ahead. Uh, they're used to playing ahead. They're probably not excited about playing from behind. This is the finals. I don't know if it's a best of three. I don't think it is, considering most of these guys have played a lot of games today. So, it, it really is, is crunch time. So, they are playing from behind. They're tired. You can see two ships passing in the night. Blue buff on blue buff. Hank misses his pillar and his Q, but Trundle's here. Trundle's going to eat a bind. Nice wall. Morgana's all only lands on Trundle. Looks like Udyr's going to come in. If he gets too close to Morgana, Fran can actually ult and hit, bounce it between the both of them, but that's not going to happen. Meanwhile, bot lane pushed... Uh, the high risk nowhere where bot lane pushed out of lane, and that bot turret's going to go down. Oh... Dodges the bind, that's good, but is the ult did not bounce to the creep, but Trunda will pick it up. Hank sacrificing himself and an oracle. The ignite will not kill Trundle. Meanwhile, Alistair needs one more hit, will get that hit, gets the blue buff. Good play by the high eight firewalls. Trundle's going to back out of there. Here comes Renekton. Probably can't do much against this team. Probably get headbutted and tornadoed. That top turret will go down in the process, though. Renekton will probably push this up just enough to get sneeze on it. Get that last hit. The solo mid Sona show. Interesting. <laughs> And we've got TGF Kuhn on Caitlyn just kind of farming up a storm. Kind of look at the gold here. Uh, Caitlyn actually farming really well. 142 creep stats. 20 more than Corky. On top of that, she's got quite a bit of more assists. And uh, kill. 8 assists to be... Top turret will eventually go down. Uter picking up and, and somewhat split pushing. They know Dragon's up. Uter does not have teleport. They really could use this dragon here. They will get the dragon. It is a 5 on 4 situation. 
I don't know if I agree with that Jan alt. However, the Bran alt will pick up Caitlyn. Here comes the Shirelia's Reverie. Sona will go down. So they got Dragon and two kills here. That's pretty good. Meanwhile, Udyr is pushing this top turret. Don't know if he'll be able to get it all the way. It's going to be close. Yeah, he'll definitely get this top turret and he'll just be able to back out safely. So Trondo not having the best game that he's had this this tournament. Yuashi looking just now hitting triple digit creep stats. He does have those early two um, GP for 10 items. Uh, looks like he's building into what could be Triforce, what could be an Ice Mallet. Is he going to get the smite? No, Udi is going to pick this up. Does land the combo. There goes the dash stun, the follow stun, uh, the pop up by Janna. Here comes the Chirelli's Reverie. Udyr almost able to get out of there. Uh, Trundle does manage to get the last kill, uh, the last hit and the kill, which means he'll pick up the red buff. High risk no reward. Still looking at a 5k deficit. Uh, but it's not all bad. They are starting to make a comeback in terms of kills. Still have yet to take down a turret. But they did get Dragon, so they are making an... They're, they aren't giving up. They're not laying down. Corgi should be able to push this lane quite a bit. They need to be careful, though, um, because they're so far away. If, if, T, if TGF decides to make a play for Baron... I think they could do it. Um, Udyr is rocking the Riggles. Renekton also has a Riggles. And Caitlyn has quite a bit of damage. She does have her IE. So it is quite possible that they, they could take a you know a 20 minute Baron. It's not out of the question. We have not seen an early Baron yet um, in, our, in these matchups. But with all these outer turrets down, I don't see any reason why they couldn't get such a huge map advantage um, and, and, go, and go for it. So this turret's going to go down. Corky will get the bot turret, but these guys are pinging for, towards Baron. The question is, are they just baiting it or will they actually start it? There is quite a bit of war coverage. Chondo actually placing that pillar lets them know that they do not have Baron Warden. Oh no, Hank gets caught. He's going to eat it up. The Caitlyn ult will go down. Janna blows Team Hill, blows her ult, and then flashes <laughs> to safety. He's going to get stunned and still go down. There goes another Oracle. And it looks like Udyr is pushing top uh, just by himself. Now while they go up to defend, um, these guys are going to get a Baron uh, pretty much for free. I don't think they can contest it. There's no way... I mean, Corky could almost... Corky can actually poke this, but I don't think there's any way he can stop this. Alistar is actually able to headbutt over, stun, pop his ult, and go for the smite steal. He does get the smite steal. We'll trade his life for that. But meanwhile, Renekton and Sona go down. That was huge. Well played by I Hate Firewalls. Did Bran? Bran was up. He was able to get the buff. Janna was up. She got the buff. And now these guys can actually safely begin to push and possibly get some turrets and possibly may start to make a comeback.
MVP right here. Or at least keeping him in the game. Solid play. <laughs> now, if someone has been keeping track of Dragon, I do believe Dragon is due to spawn soon. Uh, it is possible that they are going to ward this and be in this this area. Looks like Udyr is going to go top. He's probably just pick up quite a bit of farm. Sona wants that ward, but she can't have it. Dragon did spawn. Brand's gonna stay back just to zone out. Just misses the pillar. Probably could one could completely combo zone out if necessary. They do have a creep wave. It is currently will be 5v5 by the time Uter. He's he's trying to blue pill, so it looks like Trundle's gonna rotate top. He'll probably solo push this. These guys want to play safe. They want to fall back, poke if possible. Sona finally got that ward. Hank did not want to let it go. Looks like Corky has been diligently farming. Does have just as many creep stats as Caitlyn. Doesn't have nearly assists. Uh, but does have a couple dragons and barons. So, I mean, if we look at the team gold, the deficit's actually not as big as it used to be. Just just over 3k. They do still have baron buff. They are going to converge. There goes the rivalry. There goes the wall. Not going to be good enough to engage on Morgana. Udyr is top. They do have a 5v4 in mid. Udyr eats a cupcake, also eats a Morgana Vine. Baron Buff just about to run off. They need to come away with something here. They need a turret. They did get Dragon, but they need to come away with just something more. The Brand Pillar misses. They're attacking the turret. The turret will go down. The Brand Alt goes off. Doesn't quite make a dent. Brand splits off, not a super safe. Nice pillar. Finally lands that pillar. Does land the stun on Sona. Not enough. The NASA assault triggering for extra health. Meanwhile, we have Mr. Yi in the house. I'm sorry, not Yi. <laughs> that was a joke. It actually is Udir, but he's back doing like a master Yi. Whole team's gonna back up. Well, I'm sorry, that's kind of a split push, not quite the back door for you Dota fans. He will trade his life for an inhib. A wall should come down here. The red buff, they have quite a bit of slows. And they're going to chase it, they got to be careful. Uh, the rest of the team's coming up. There goes the Sona ult, hits absolutely nothing. Renekton will go down. Morgana will go down. It looks like Caitlyn will go down. Good job, Janna, for keeping sight on Janna. These guys just got uh, three kills, and they can actually push on mid and top lane. And the gold deficit now just under 2k. And could be, once they pick up a couple turrets, could be almost even. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a Robodope <laughs> scenario going on. These guys hung back, started down 10 kills, or what was it, eight, down 8 kills, it was 10-2 at one point, down 5k gold in 15 minutes. 
And now we are just under an 800 gold deficit. Baron will be spawning soon. Dragon will be spawning soon. If you know the next team fight could decide what could decide the outcome of this game. And our go for all number 41 champions. Sona is has double checked. She's made sure that there are no wards in play around Baron. No enemy wards. Looks like Janna will miss this ward. They are starting to get these wards down. They are going to have map control. One thing they have to be worried about is the top lane pushing with these super creeps. It's just if they have to if, if they continue to let the top top lane push, Baron did just spawn. Both teams definitely aware. What's gonna happen is one someone is gonna have to go back and defend that creep wave, and if that's the case, they might go for Baron. So it looks like Corky did go top. He didn't have to go all the way to the base. But it looks like it is a 5v4 situation. What happened to that skill shot? But it kind of just died midair. They are going to engage on Baron. Will Alstar be able to make another uh, steal on this Baron? They do have sight. Here comes the stuff. He does not get the steal. I had to hold my breath. Baron will get picked up. Alstar will go down. The Black Shield, Shirelia Reverie, Bear <laughs> Udir finally chases down. Catches Brand with a stun. He'll get popped. Jan will get popped. These guys are going to have to back. And Corky will eat a bind, and this is probably going to be GG. That was close. That was really epic. If Alistair had gotten the second Baron steal, we would <laughs> we would have just named him MVP and quit. I would. <laughs> Excellent game. Well, I want to thank everybody that uh, tuned in to watch. Uh, like I said, celebrity for Court Chester in our in our channel. Um, hopefully, we'll uh, get a chance to <laughs> see some of his stuff. If he wants to type in stream where you can find a lot of his uh, his YouTube channel, that would be awesome. And uh, feel, be sure to go check his stuff out. Be sure to go to our website www.raiseyourweapon.com. Um, also, check out our YouTube channel and our Facebook. Appreciate your Facebook likes. Go go like everybody you can. If you like League of Legends, and you know there's some shoutcasters out there, uh, we, your likes matter. Uh, they help us gain popularity, and and once Riot starts to notice us, they'll feature our streams, and we can actually bring more content. But thanks everybody. Congratulations to TGF, and better luck next time for high risk, no reward.